But in order now to, to obtain information about the details, about the atoms, what the, what the molecule looks like inside, better sample preparation methods were needed. And many people believed that the way to prepare samples was to fr would be to freeze them. The problem is that if you place a biological object in ice, in, uh, in, in water and freeze, then ice crystals are formed around the object. And the ice crystals diffract the electron beam. So when it's illuminated, all the in information is lost because the ice crystal diffract the, the electron beam. But uh, people also believe that it would be possible perhaps to freeze the f uh, sample fast enough so that the water would not have time to arrange itself into crystals to form ice, but would be a structure that is, is like a liquid. All the water molecules are randomly distributed and not, not forming the ice crystals. And if this is the case, then it would be possible to obtain a sharp picture because all the electron beams would be evenly absorbed by the, by the this vitrified water, as it's called. And in this way, Jacques Dubochet could uh, develop the technique that allowed to see biomolecules uh, at good contrast. The method is described in this picture. So the, the sample is applied to a grid <coughs> and uh, the, uh, the sample then in water is, spans the, the, the distance across this, the holes in this grid. And <coughs> then the sample is frozen in uh, ethane that is cooled by liquid nitrogen. So the temperature is about mi minus 190 degrees. It's rapidly frozen and then the glass is formed. The water in the glass form is, form, is formed across the, these holes. This is a setup that was built by Jacques de Boucher, and we see here it's like a catapult that is used to, to inject the sample that is here into the cold ethane here. So it's frozen very rapidly in order to form this vitrified state. And using this method, Jacques de Boucher in the beginning of 1980, he showed these beautiful pictures, like in this case of a virus. And everyone traveled to, who were uh, working in this field traveled to his, his lab to, in order to learn the technique. And uh, it was then rapidly used by many other, in uh, many other laboratories. The technique has transformed the uh, electron microscopy from a technique that could be used to just see the shapes, the outer shapes of, of molecules, into one that is now used to see the details, the atoms inside the molecules. <coughs> 